Hi, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we get the Youngster V rudder basically completed. Remember, I do things my way, not necessarily the right way. But if you get any hints and tips from this video, then all the better. So let's get cracking. Okay, so the trailing edge bow of the rudder we saw laminated in the last episode has been sanded. Uh, came out nice and uh, level, very little sanding needed just to remove the glue. Uh, as we found with the uh, laminates in previous episodes, uh, they're remarkably consistent. I've uh, got the uh, spar here for the rudder and you'll see I've got a couple of blocks in place and I can now just place the spar against those blocks and against this lower block here and I can draw in that line there which will be the line I'm going to cut off the end of the lamination uh, the next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to mark a center line all the way around the the bow itself and a center line on each end of the spar and then I'll cut the spar. Okay so I've uh, cut that I need to send it to uh, get the absolutely perfectly 90 degrees uh, from the far face and to the angle there so the spar now is uh, a good close tolerance fit uh, because I sanded it and it's end grain you get dust stuck in the grain uh, on the end grain so I've washed it out with uh, a bit of denatured alcohol so I can make sure that we get a good bond that the uh, resin isn't just sitting on top of dust so it's quite an important thing uh, normally like when I'm uh, doing the routing and sanding for the gussets I blow it out with compressed air but when it's tight end grain like this I, I wash it out as well um, so now we've got that bit sorted this edge here going along here is pretty much a straight edge if I put the the, uh, the blade of my bevel gauge against it you can see that that's a sort of straight edge now if I put the bevel gauge there and get that set I can tighten up that now I've got the angle which I can transfer onto the spar and I'll get the end of the spar uh, cut to that angle the end of the spar is cut you can see I've drawn a centre line on the spar here and we've got the centre line dr drawn all the way around the bow At this end I've got the, uh, the centre line drawn which we'll use later and I'm just going to uh, mark on each side of the, uh, the spar. Hopefully this will be in focus. Okay, so I've got the mark which you just saw me put in. I've got one that side and one this side. So what I'll do is I'll use a square and uh, I'll draw that line right up to the top I'll draw it still using the same edge as a datum this, this side here is a datum I will draw that line there so it can be seen I'll just put it across the top here a little bit so I can see it there and then I'll join that with a steel rule and because that's not quite 90 degrees the slight difference in the bow so that is now matched I can now cut this off with a tenon saw and dress it maybe sand it so that it fits the uh, gap between top and bottom as exactly as we can we can get it with enough room for that glue to be in 
Okay, so what I've been doing is I made up a gauge uh, for the height of the center line of the spar and I've lifted this bow up so that the center line marked on it is exactly the same as that so that's all in its relative position. I've made up the blocks for the rear of the main spar. I've cut and made up this member which is shown on this drawing which is 2A but not shown on drawing 2 but you know I'd rather have it there than not. I've made up the blocks to hold it in place against the leading edge and up here. The rib I've cut out to shape using the template. That one there, same as I did on the fin. So if you look at the video that's linked up here, uh, you'll be able to see how the template was used. And I've made up this uh, piece here of uh, F47, which gets bonded onto the rib to make it into the T shape as shown again on that uh, fin video so uh, I'll glue this little lot together here uh, and let that uh, cure off and I'll glue in the main spar uh, with the top block here and the bottom block so we've got a starting point to start putting everything else together I'll deal with uh, this member at the same time as I glue in the forward rudder rib. Right then, so the nose rib has been uh, created. Uh, I've shaped the uh, F48 using the uh, template. The F47 piece has been shaped uh, to match everything and glued to create that T piece. The blocks have been uh, made up uh, I ran out of uh, block wood uh, that was wide enough for that so luckily I had some white pine aircraft grade which I could use to make up uh, these blocks and uh, they're all shaped so I'm just going to go and glue this little lot together. So the situation now is all this area is glued up, all dried and cured. I've been making up all the blocks for the trailing edges and just behind the spar and the ribs have been basically cut and I'm now about to mark those up about uh, two inches back from where it attaches to the spar tapering it down to the height of the bow itself and I'll taper those with a plane and then they'll all be ready to be uh, fitted and glued. Okay so basic rudder complete we uh, have all the ribs installed tapered that took a little bit of time to get those nicely tapered to the two inch point except for the bottom one which is tapered all the way to the front I'll go into that in more detail in the next video in point of fact in the next video we'll deal with the bottom and the top up here uh, as well as the final sort of finishing uh, around the uh, trailing edge and leading edge to get the final sort of shapes there time to this point 27.9 hours Thank you for staying with me to this point and catch you in the next video. Look after yourselves. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.